Welcome back to No Sticks, No Bricks. We have finally left Arizona, guys. We are in Colorado now. We're in Cortez, Colorado. We stayed at this pretty awesome Harvest Host last night called Yellow Car Winery, and we tried the wine for sure. <laughs> the wine was a flowing last night. The host for this Harvest Host was absolutely amazing. Um, I definitely recommend coming here. They've got actual RV spots designated. They've got five of them and then a couple little overflow areas. We made our request online and he uh, approved it within uh, like a couple hours. He was really quick. So we thanked him for being so expedient because that's important for us full-time travelers kind of know when and where we're going. Because if we don't hear back from the Harvest hosts in a timely manner, like days or weeks, then we've just got to change our plans up. So it's always nice when they're, uh, when they're quick to the response. have to change our plans up some because um, we were gonna go to Durango from here and stay at a Corps of Engineer Park and then from there to Gunnison uh, but that's crossing the million dollar highway and after doing more research it's definitely a motorcycle road I've always heard of the road as a great motorcycle road but towing our 44 foot 21,000 pound home probably is not a good idea I'm sure people have done it and I'm sure it's possibly doable but I don't but why why do it when we can just change our plans and go around and we'll come back and do that road on the motorcycle we're in Gunnison and last night while we were out sitting wine we made some new friends hi we made some German friends how are you guys? <laughs> What's your name again? Ika. Ika. And he's full blood German. Him and his wife and child are over here visiting the US for what, a couple weeks? 52 days in an RV. Whoa, nice. Yeah, we're going to have a great time all around the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, that is south fantastic. North. Fantastic. And of course, you guys know that we lived in Germany for three years, so we had some great conversations last night with these guys. We really miss Germany. We loved it over there. How do you say safe travels in German? Gute Reise, viel Spaß. Us and tolles Wetter. Have fun, guys. There you go. cool was that? A big old bear right off the side of the road. I'm actually on top of the RV so I can get a better view of him. But he's out of sight now, but check out this view. Snow, Axel? I haven't seen snow in a while. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come here. Here's the shot. I know, you're excited, excited. So excited. Hold on. Freedom? Here, hold on. Just don't go get the bear. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, go play in the snow. Go, go, go. Itty bitty, are you gonna play in the snow? There yep. she goes. I like the snow too. I know, itty bitty and Axel have always loved the snow. Alley Bell though, not yeah. so much. Come on, go, go. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer says she's got to hibernate now because it's cold and we've been standing out here videoing this bear. We're so high right now, the GPS can't even make a reading on it. Over 10,000 feet. <laughs> it's like one zero ellipsis. <laughs> We're staying at a state park right now. It's called Ridgeway State Park and it's right next to Ridgeway, Colorado. And we're getting ready to go do something that's always been on my bucket list because it's right down the road and that's ride the Harley on the Million Dollar Highway. Before we go, I wanted to show you this park and this site because it's right on a river. There's mountains everywhere. There's even snow on the mountains still. All right, so this park is broke up into a couple different sections. One of the sections, the one that we're in, actually has full hookups, 30 amp, but they're full hookups, which is kind of rare for a state park. The site that we're in is 90 foot long, so we have plenty of room for all of our crap. <laughs> Let me show it to you. The weather is absolutely beautiful. It's the middle of May and it's 70s and sunny. At least right now, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms later this week. But today is gonna to be a perfect day to ride the bike on the Million Dollar Highway. Holy cow, guys, this is amazing. This reminds me of riding in Austria when we were stationed in Europe. I am glad that we did not take large marge on this road. Um, you can do it with a smaller RV, at least so far we haven't finished it, but um, that one bridge that we went through is 13.7 and we're 13.6, so that's too close for comfort for me. So there's a big waterfall down here. I could actually hear it already. And now we're gonna go see if we can see it. So now we're down the road a ways and uh, Jen said she just saw a moose. So we stopped and we're gonna see if we can get it on film for you. See it? No. Somewhere over there. <laughs> he or she was right along. 
over there, but I can't see it now. I don't know if we ever told you this, but oh, Jennifer found it. Jennifer found it. Where, where, where? Oh, it's moving. Oh, right behind. It's like my 12 o'clock. If you follow straight, it's like right on the edge of that thing. All right, let me try the phone. Can you take real? Will you be able to get it? Oh yeah, I'm getting it right now, but I'm doing YouTuber. <laughs> the YouTube. Hey. Looking at us. Zoomed out or zoomed in? <laughs> so what I was saying was, I don't know if we told you, but Jennifer actually hit a moose when we lived in Alaska in her car. We had a 99 Grand Am at the time. She smacked a moose that ran right out in front of her. Did like $4,000 worth of damage to the car. Moose ran off into the woods and we never saw it again. We are in Silverton, Colorado now. We just came from the Harley store, of course, and we had to buy, you know, t-shirts and magnets and whatnot. Yeah. And what we didn't know was this is the tallest Harley store in the world at over 9,500 feet. Yeah. World's highest Harley store, not tallest. <laughs> but Elevation-wise. Yeah, this little town is so cool. Everybody's told us always to come here. You know, if you're going to Colorado, make sure you go to Silverton and uh, see why. I can imagine being here during Christmas and how awesome it would be. But now we're gonna go get some grub. There is a restaurant called the Handlebar Saloon that was recommended to us by the lady that works in the Harley store. So not everything's open yet because it's the middle of May and there's still snow on the ground. And so I uh, guess we can't be too picky. Was your lunch good? It was amazing. It was delicious. It was delicious. Shopping, shopping, all kinds of little gift stores here in mm -hmm. Silverton. Yep. Found, found, a, found a shirt. I really liked it. It was jeeping. It had a yellow jeep on it. And it said recalculating because it was on the edge. But they only had it on a small and a medium. Oh, uh, no mediums for you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what did you find? I found this t-shirt right here. Which one? Oh, cool. Nice. And they, yeah. had, they didn't have mediums? No, no, they had it in my size. <laughs> they got a little bit of snow here still. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out this train that just came into town. Apparently it goes from Durango to Silverton, yep. what they said? Durango to Silverton. Durango to Silverton and then Silverton back to Durango. But it's like a old school coal burning train. So we're gonna go look at it. Go make a snow angel, babe. No. Play in the snowbank. No, I'll touch it though. Yeah, go stand next to it so everybody sees how tall this thing is. <laughs> wow. They have like record snowfall this year. It's crazy. Don't you throw that at me. 
Just don't making you throw that at me. I'm gonna try to take it to go. 